we're back with uh, another old school talk with Nasmas OSR old school rotaries and what we got here today we got the 10a we got the 12a twin dizzy and we got a 13b uh, big letter 13b here so this 10a here came out of the R100 10a this is the 12a twin dizzy out of an RX2 and this one's uh, out of an RX4 uh, 13b big letter so we're going to go ahead and uh, see what the difference is. All right, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and uh, weigh them. So we got the 10A here. And the 10A, we got it coming in at uh, 12 pounds, 4 ounces. All right, we got the 12A here now. And this one's coming in at uh, 14 pounds, 0.4 ounces. Now we got the 13B here. And this one's coming in at uh, 15 pounds, 0.6 ounces. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and uh, just uh, measure the, the difference between uh, the three, uh, the 10A, 12A, and 13B, uh, as far as like distance goes. So if we grab our measuring tape here and measure the 10A, we're looking at, uh, this is about 15 and a half inches long. This one's about 16 and a quarter. And this one's gonna be 17. So these are pretty much three quarters of a difference. So this one's uh, three quarters of a difference from this one, and this uh, and and the 12A is about three quarters of a difference uh, with the 13B. So there's three quarters difference as we go along. All right. So next we're gonna move to the the front end of the centric shaft, and this this part here. This is where your pulley sit. Uh, you, this is where you check your end play. Uh, you got needle bearings, spacers, uh, all kind of stuff going going on there. But if I were to block this, uh, they they pretty much look similar. You would think the, the distance is exactly the same, but they do change a bit. So if I were to get my measuring tape here, and uh, if we go ahead and uh, measure this, this one's measuring about three and a half. This one's measuring at three and a half. This one's measuring about three and a half. So when it comes to this, to this section here they're they're all three and a half but when you measure it from the lobe to the front uh, this one's five three quarters this one's five and a half and this one's uh, five and a half so they're pretty much these two are the same the 10a and the 12a are the same but when it comes to the 13b uh, there's significantly a big difference so that's five and a half so it's a quarter, about a quarter difference. Now I did measure these from here, and they all gave me this about the same. So that's four and three quarters. That's about four and three quarters, and this one's about four and three quarters. So the difference between these three, it's here. Next, we're gonna measure uh, the lobe right where the rotor bearing uh, rides on. So if we measure the 10A, uh, it's measuring at, uh, it's about an inch and three eighths. And if we measure the 12A, this one's measuring about an inch and uh, three quarters. And the 13B is gonna measure about an inch and uh, three quarters as well. So the difference between the 10A and the 12A is uh, three eighths. But when it comes to the 12A and the 13B, uh mazda just decided to keep it the same same size so uh the only difference here is, is the 10a obviously uh the distance here with the rotor bearing rides it's a uh, three-eighths of a difference now if you look at this closely though uh mazda did keep uh weight off of these eccentric shafts as you can see here there's no no weight on this one uh there's no weight on this one but when you come to the 13b there's a lot of weight on here so you got all this meat right here that uh, that Mazda just decided to keep. I guess to make them stronger, but uh, you you don't see this weight on on any of uh, the earlier uh, eccentric shafts like the 10A. So uh, a lot of uh, racers out there, uh, what they'll do, they'll machine this off just to get get rid of the weight. So that's something uh, that's been done back way back in the 70s when they used to race in the 70s, 80s. And I'm sure it's still being done now. It's just, uh, I don't know 
I haven't seen anyone talk about it, but yeah, they, uh, you could just actually machine this off and uh, you know, you got a light of rotating assembly. So, All right, so next we're moving on to the uh, oil galleries that uh, pretty much uh, are right here on the lobes. And what these do, uh, they pretty much just feed oil on the bearing. Uh, this is my 10A right here. And what they do, it just they just pretty much lubricate the uh, uh, the, the rotor bearing here. So, yeah. Uh, so let's start with the 10A. So as you can see, the 10A uh, does have a notch here, not here, but it has it on the other side. So it does have notches, and the 12A does not. So uh, that did change. Uh, Mazda did decide to change that down the line. They just uh, I don't know for whatever reason they just decided not to go with the notch i guess they figured it wasn't that important so uh yeah definitely the 10a eccentric shaft uh does have a lot weight a lot less weight than the 13b because uh, we got to remember 13b once they made the 13b's they had this extra meat here uh 12a they got away with that but this is less weight because they're they're notching this out so uh definitely the 10a uh it's, it's got the upper hand as far as weight goes uh, not only because uh, the rotors are a lot thinner or whatever but it's just uh, uh, Mazda did give away with a lot of notches and uh, cuts uh, on the eccentric shaft all right so uh, next we're moving on to the oil jets and these are they sit right here in this little round circle here so the 30B has an oil jet 12A has oil jet but not the 10A uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, measure the, the back section of the uh, centric shafts and this one's measuring about four and a half this one's measuring four and this one's measuring four so when it comes to the back it's just the 10a and the 12a are the same size as they would be in the front here but the 13b does stand out so obviously the 13b has got more meat uh, going this way and going out this way so I mean it, it Mazda definitely kept it the same in the early days, but uh, they just started adding, uh, I guess, more more meat. Obviously, uh, this engine is gonna produce more torque, uh, more and more horsepower, just because uh, you know it's a bigger placement, so displacement. So uh, if we measure here, it's also gonna be a lot beefier. So this is about three and a half. This was three, and this was three. So again. 10A, 12A, very similar distance from here, very similar from here, exactly the same. 13B does change by, uh, what was that? Three, and this one's uh, three and a half. So it does change by half an inch. So next we're moving on to uh, the threading. Uh, this is the flywheel nut. And yeah, Mazda didn't change much. Uh, these these are all, they're all inter interchangeable, um, even up, uh, that was 13B. We're gonna try it on the 12A. 12A that fits on there, and then we got the 10A. So yeah, you could definitely just go go get yourself some new ones if you know if uh, you end up damaging these or uh, you know you just don't like the way it looks or whatever. They're all interchangeable. All right, so even though the flywheel nuts are interchangeable in the back of the eccentric shaft, uh, not the front pulley nut. So this is uh, from the 12A, and uh, it bolts right on there without a problem. Bolts on the 13B, not a problem. But when it comes to the 10A, it won't. It won't even go in there so uh, the 10a does have a smaller bolt uh, than, than the 12a or the 13b these two are interchangeable but not when it comes to the 10a it does change a bit all right so there you have it that's the difference between the 10a 12a and 13b uh, in case you guys were wondering well there you go there you have it so uh, we kept it old school this is uh, from a 10a r100 this is a 12a from an rx2 and this is a 13b from an rx4 so uh yeah we definitely kept it old school uh if you guys enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe hit that like button 
And uh, if you guys got any questions, there's probably something I left out or forgot, uh, just go ahead and uh, just uh, put it below in, in the comment box right there. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.